what's up rob babes and yes we have another back-to-back -back video this is one of my favorite models i use for my platform and also your favorite and i had to bring her back just to achieve this look because i'm recreating a look that i posted on my page before and y'all was like girl we have to get a recreated look on this on youtube so i'm spoiling y'all i am back to the game so let's get started if you guys are new to my channel this is the page where it's love it's learning it's happiness it's realness and it's very much raw okay so we're just gonna jump right into it the first thing you should do when you have your client or yourself is cleanse the skin we're gonna go in with noxema wipes you can get this from any cvs any walgreens but it's very good to cleanse the skin so if your client comes in with makeup on or they were sweating or anything you just want to start off with a clean face make sure you always 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 wipe down the skin then we first went in with some airspun translucent powder and i went on to pat that along her eyebrows i like to set the brows before i go in with the nyx um eyebrow pencil in the shade espresso i feel like it's a little better to set it before you go in because it's way easier to glide along you can see the details and the strokes that you do for the hairs And now I'll be going in with one of my favorite known techniques, and that's using the dual lash glue for the eyebrows. I love to lay those brows down, and also so it can have a luminous look and a long-lasting brow wear. To conceal the brows, I went with L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer in the shade Honey. And also for the top of her brows, just to avoid a halo eyebrow, I went with her foundation shade from 24 Hour Superstay Maybelline in the shade Truffle. On her lids, I went in with the Morphe Bronzer in the shade Supreme. 
I love a smoky brown. And as you guys see me just blending on her lid, I will be blending towards her eyebrows and also the bridges of her nose. That will help with contouring and details later on. Off camera, I finished her wing liner. It was from Elf Cosmetics in the shade Jet Black Liquid Liner. And then I also popped on some lashes. The primer that I used today was from Milk Grip Primer, which is one of my favorites. Today foundation will be from Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay in the shade Truffle and I over love this foundation, okay? I feel like this foundation will literally give you the same finish as NARS Longwear. Now if you are a beginner, save your coins, okay? You have to invest in yourself. You should start off low and work your way up. The more clients you get, the more clientele, the more followers. Then that's when you can proceed to buy NARS, you can proceed to buy expensive products because it will be worth it. But in the beginning, stay low. Make your profit, okay? I'm just giving out some quick little, you know, quick little game for you guys. Don't be like every MUA when they first start off. You know, they see expensive things, and this was me. You see expensive foundations that people use like, oh, let me go run and go get it. And sometimes that foundation will just be sitting, sitting up there in your studio or your house and you'll have no clients. <laughs> You're not making your profit. You're not making your investment. So really watch out for your pockets. Do not splurge on makeup. You can honestly use less expensive makeup to kill a look. And that's why I love showing you guys how to do that as well. In all honesty, when I was a beginner, I really felt like, let me go get MAC. Let me go get these expensive Dior. Let me go get Fenty. And honestly, now that I'm a professional makeup artist, 
and I do end up being able to afford those things now and I'm using it, they don't give me the same finish of what the foundation I overly love. Sometimes it's good for others, but sometimes it's just not my cup of tea. And to be honest, sometimes the most expensive foundation doesn't give you that look that you desire. So as a beginner, like I said, to each his own, stay low. You will work your way up. It's a process. It takes time. You have to work yourself up, get more clientele, push yourself out there. If you're at a place where you have like a little community, get out little cards, put little, like your Instagram, put your logo on little cards, pass it around, go to Ulta, pass around, tell everyone, hey, I do makeup and it's prom coming up. So for the beginners, if you want to make your little coins, do a little prom sales, this is the time where you have to network. You have to put yourself out there. Now, I'll be going in with two concealers. I went with a concealer that's at least um, two shades lighter than her original skin tone. And I went in with another one that was a tad bit brighter. The concealers that I'll be using today is by Born This Way Concealer, Too Faced, and the shade Cookie and Chestnut. Blending out her concealer, I went in with the Real Technique setting brush, and now I'll be going in to contour the face. I went with the contour stick from Black Opal in the shade Ebony Brown. Now I'll be going in with the Damp Beauty Blender and I'll be blending out a popper shade. A popper shade is a lighter shade that's way lighter than their skin complexion just to make the under eye look smooth and brightened. I love a bright under eye. Today I went with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'll make sure I put down the shade below in the description box. So when you are using this light shade, you have to use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. 
especially when it's a very full coverage and a very bright concealer. So do not cover your whole entire under eye like you did the first time with the first concealer. This is a popper, so keep it in a spot so where you just want it to lighten up. Now, I'm a real one, so I am going to address my mistakes. When I looked at when I looked at the powder puff, I did not know that it was that packed with powder. So, I did go extremely with the powder the first time I applied it to her face. But I made sure that I scratched that powder. I made sure that I used that side for the whole entire face. Um so it just won't be too much powder. When you are going in with doing the powder with the powder puff or a beauty blender, Make sure that it's not too much just to avoid your face to be cakey. But the great thing about this look is that the powder that we use today will not leave the face cakey at all. It's very long wear and also it's also waterproof. You guys can go use the Huda Beauty Powder and that is in the shade Banana Bread. I used a lighter powder than her complexion because I wanted to keep the under eye brightened and the spots that we concealed. Um, I like to keep those brightened so I will go in with a brighter setting powder. And now I'll be going in with the same bronzer that we use for her lids. This is in the shade Supreme from Morphe. And right after that, I will pop on her blush. This blush is from Morphe, the 8D palette, and I over love this palette. Also, ladies, for her waterline, I went in with the Inglock Black Gel Creamy Liner, and I over love that pomade liner. Like, it's just, oh, shelf kiss. You can get it from Amazon, and it comes very fast. If you have Prime, Amazon comes, like, the next day. And now I'll be popping that silver in her corner of her eye. That silver is from an old Jeffree Star palette, and I'm trying to get a hold of another palette so I can put you guys on to a pigment that pops as much as that one. But the the palette, Jeffree Star palette, is so out of stock. It's so, like, years ago. So it's just one of them palettes that you have in your kit that you only use for a specific reason, and that was because of that, you know? Um, so after carving out her features and shaping up her features, now it's time to bake. We'll be going in with the translucent um powder this is in the shade medium deep and this powder is um a new one that came out it's to avoid any flashback so i made sure that i set her face with that as well so when you're going in to do the client's face you have to have two powders one that's light and one that's her original skin tone 
So that's why I went with the medium uh, deep, just to tone and bring everything up with her skin. Now I'll be lining up the lips with a dark brown pencil from Ruby Kisses. You can get it by your nearest beauty supply store. I overlove it. And in the middle of her lips, I topped it on with a Morphe um, matte lipstick, just like a nude. This is in the shade Virgin. And I popped on some hair store gloss. And this is from Broadway. Also, I forgot to mention that I brightened up her lips with a little bit of a white concealer. You have to get a very, very white concealer and go in with a little tit, 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 tiny dot and put it in the center of her lips and just blend that out just so you can get the desired nude effect that you will like. To keep her under eye bright and smooth and give that filter effect, I went with the NC45 just to keep that brightened. And I also went in with NW48 just to bring her whole look together, which is her original skin tone. These setting press powders are from MAC Studio Fix, and I overlove it. I also, right after, went in and melted her skin with the Morphe Spray Mist Spray. Off camera, I applied some individual lashes for her bottom lash line, and this is from Kiss. And I also went in with some mascara, and now I'll be popping on some highlighter from MAC. This is in the shade Gold Deposit. Yes, ladies, this is the finishing look, and she looks so gorgeous. I overlove this look. If you guys like this look, make sure that you click that like button. Comment down below, Rob Babes for Life. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see whenever Lachey Glam's post. 
hit that subscription bell as well. I always love you guys forever and always. Rob is for life. If you guys also want to recreate this look, make sure you tag me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Asha Slams, and I'll be the first to see it. If you guys want to see if you qualify for a one-on-one -on -one session with me, make sure that you reach out to my Instagram and text the number in bio, and we can see what's up. If you guys even come to Miami, let me know so you can sit in this chat and get slayed to the guys, okay? Walking felt so this was giving. In the dark with the lights off, this was giving, okay? I love you guys so, so much. If you guys want to ever reach out to me, tell me your experience, tell me if you need some advice, I am here with you, ride or die. Also, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching and learning. And we will forever be family, okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend that this is the page where you will learn all the gems and you won't ever regret it. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.